Hey, what's going on everybody? Ben back at you. All right, we got a good video for you today. Um, I have a request for, well not a request, but I'm just going to do it anyway because we're going to be there. Uh, factory tires and how to tape them out off and uh, seal them for water. Um, and then we got a couple other things. We have some new tires and some new rims. So uh, yeah, we're going to get started on that. A little update on the giveaway. We're, we're doing good. Um, I love all the comments. Uh, we're at, um, I think about 120 entries, something like that. So you guys are doing good. Um, Tuesday, we have uh, today and tomorrow. So this is Sunday morning. I'm going to try to get this video made as soon as possible and get it out there for you guys. Uh, so you can have something to watch on Sunday. So, um, oh, it's going to be a crazy week because uh, I went to the hobby shop yesterday and um, I pretty much blew all my money. Um, a guy came in there that, you know, has a channel on YouTube and all that, and he's getting out of the RC, so that's all I'm going to say, and uh, I spent all my money, so I got some surprises for you this week, but uh, I'm not going to show you now. So. She made 1.9 SRO2 beadlock wheels, uncoated steel, two of them, $23.99. Not too Proline. BF Goodrich Crawler TAs. Okay. Here we go. BF Goodrich Crawler TA KX 1.9 G8 Rock Terrain Truck Tires for Front and Rear. Uh, I read up on these. You know, these were released after the Hyrax. You know, here's the Hyrax, and this is the. Uh, the crawler TA so there's the difference I have mounted up too just to try to save some time with the video so uh, I did that last night I was up late last night so there's your difference pretty much the same size let me get you focused in what is going on this morning so there you go and bam. I like the uh, steel wheel look. These are uncoated steel, so yes, they will rust. So help give me that, you know, All right, scale. here we go. <clears throat> and just real quick, Proline uses this uh, color code system for the compound of their tires. This has a uh, orange dot on it. And I'm going to put a link up real quick to their guide. Uh, these are the orange dot is for rock crawling. Um, I'll put up a link right now, or not a link, it'll be a uh, screenshot. A still picture of um, their tire color code guide, so you, um, you just know real quick uh, what tires are for what. So I'll put that up. All right, so there was your chart for your color codes. Um, this is how the G made come. You have the back ring. This is your uh, wheel for inside tire and then you have your your two outside plates or outside room pieces so these i don't know i feel like i had a little bit harder of a time to install these than i did on the um on the uh, method wheels i feel like the method wheels are a little bit easier to install so here's your instructions it does come with a bunch of screws a pack of screws and it comes with a um there's a little it's like a nut driver that you put on the end of your allen Allen head to get the uh, little screws. And it does come with two long black screws for the initial drawdown of the tire. Uh, what that means is, you know, it's the tire's bulging up when you go to try to put uh, the rim on it. So two longer screws will help you pull the tire together. Uh, so you can get the other screws in there. So, all right. So, grab yourself a tire. Pop your wheel in there. Now, I will say something. I hope this is the right way. I, I second guessed this last night, big time. Can you see the way this little lip is down here? I hope it's supposed to be like that. If it isn't, can you please comment and tell me so I can change these? But if it is, I guess comment and tell me. It's fine. That's the way they're supposed to be. I'm pretty sure that's the way it's supposed to be. It's not coming out. It's definitely stuck down in there. There's a little tab or a little bead of the wheel that's getting caught right now. But um, I don't know. I just want to make sure my high racks are like that. So, and I haven't had an issue with them. So, we'll see. It's amazing the weight difference between the high racks. Or not the high racks, the um, method wheels, incision method wheels, and the um, 
the G Mate wheels. There's a, a, bit, a noticeable weight difference in the wheels. So, okay. After trying to do this last night, this is what I figured out. I figured out if you come in here and push down on there, you see how it kind of just forms that where, where it needs to be. So I grab a little can, spray can on my tomato paint, and uh, I'm going to use that. Okay, make sure you're doing the right side. The rim, the thick piece, or the uh, thick part, see I just tried to assemble it wrong. The thick part is the inside, the thin part is the outside, of course, because this is thin, and this is thick. Come on, Ben, get with it. I'm sorry, it's early, it's Sunday morning. I was up late last night, give me a break, man. Next side. Push down. Back side, push down. All right, so we'll get this in there, try to line the holes up. Okay. And what I like to do is, I make sure I'm in the camera. So many times I thought I was in the camera, but I'm not. To get that bead up, I just pull a little bit and let it pop up. See how it's not up there? I just pull it a little bit. I'm holding down on the rim as I do this. And if you don't hold too tight, if it comes up too far, you can't just push it back down. And you know, it kind of just, once it gets to where it's supposed to be, it kind of just sits there. So, yes, I know, right there, at one spot. So, it's going to be a problem spot. I think I got it fixed. Okay, so there's that. I will flip and we'll do the front side. So, it works so good if you just use this can. Um, if you have a little spray paint can or whatever, it works very well. Okay, gotta do the same side for, or same thing for the front. The cool part to that lip out is the lip's not all the way out. So, yeah, just lighten your, like right there, I was just holding it a little too hard, so it's hard to pull out. So, if I just lighten my grip a little bit, on the rim, it pulls right out. So, there you go. It's all pulled out. Okay. Um, okay, so I need to tuck down a little bit. It came out a little too far. So you can push it back in a little bit. When you start tightening it down, it will change. Okay, so both sides of the rim are on, and the, so that's when you want to take one of your black screws. Try to line your holes up. Shove one down in there, like so. Okay, so there we have it. two black ones are in. So, one is significantly drawn up more than the other. So we're going to match those, and uh, we're going to take them all the way home. So now it's sealed. So what I do is I squeeze it a little bit and I back these screws out a little bit of a time. And what happens is you'll hear, let me see if I can get it close so you can hear. I'm just, I just want the air to come out. I don't want them to be full of air. There we go. Okay, so what I do is then I tighten this one up a little bit. And as you can see, it'll stay this way now. It's It actually needs air in it. So what I do is take one of these and I back it out until I see. Now there is air going back in the tire. The, um, the dents are starting to come out of it. I can feel it getting round again. And once it gets round, I seal it up. So I like it like that because it's just minimum amount of air in the tire. And if you if you have a rock crawler, I, more air is not good. The less air, the better because the tire flexes and conforms to whatever obstacle you're trying to crawl over. So, like I said, I'm new to the RC world, so I don't I don't know how you guys do this. You know, I know it's personal preference, whatever you want. You know, air in your tires, no air in your tires, whatever. But all right, and there you have it. So that is with the, um, the black screws only. So I'm going to go ahead and add these other little screws and then I'll be right back and we'll finish up. All right, so we got those all mounted up. They look good. Um, my only issue will be a couple, this one, this one feels like it might have a little too much air in it, so I might have to adjust that. So uh, that's what's going on. There's your tires. Um, 
I'm going to grab the uh, TRX-4 and uh, bring it over here. And um, we'll take the factory tires off. I'll show you how I tape them up. And then, um, going on. I don't know if you can even see it. Right there. Right up here is my black tape. It's just a tiny little strip. doesn't take much to uh, seal it off. And it's just literally as wide as my finger. So I have one there and then one on the opposite side right there. So you can see the line of the tape. So that's it. Uh, I had a guy asking me about it, and um, that's how I that's how I seal them up. So there you have it. Um, G made Proline BF Goodrich Crawler TAs. Let's and put them all I on. Leave them in sport mode right now. So we're gonna change that real quick to crawl mode. As if you don't know how to do it or didn't see my last video, I'll show you real quick. My battery's hooked up, and I'm getting ready to put it in crawl mode. So what you do is you hold down this button. The button will, oh, sorry about the camera. You hold down the button. This light will come on, blink red once, and then it'll start to go through your series of options. You have five modes on this. You have sport mode, uh, race mode, training mode, and then sport, uh, sport mode will be one red blink, and then you let go. If you want race mode, you let it blink twice, and then you let go. Same thing for uh, training mode. And then you have crawl mode, or uh, trail mode and crawl mode. So trail mode is four blinks, crawl mode is five blinks. So we're gonna hold this button down, it's gonna blink red once, and then it's gonna start going through the menu. It'll do one blink, pause, two blinks, pause, three blinks, pause, four blinks, all the way to five blinks. So let me show you. One, this race. Training, trail, crawl, and then you let off, it turns green. Okay, so that took me a little bit longer, but that'll just show you, you know, sometimes it takes you more than once. And what happened there was I wasn't holding down on the button hard enough, so. All right, ProLine BF Goodrich Crawler TA KX with uh, G-made steel, uncoated steel wheels, bead locks, no diff lock, open diffs right now, oh man, they do good, I love my Hyraxis, but man, these things are good too, wow, they do really well. Let me bring it back down backwards. They do really well. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but that tire there is just buckling beautifully, conforming to the uh, rock, no problem. So, I like them. <laughs> I know I just went up a little bit, but they're nice. They stick. They're, they're very nice. No diffs locked. Let's lock these diffs. Oh, sorry. My front diff was locked on that one. Sorry about that. Not going to get it. They do nice. Oh, man. They do nice. Let me get you a shot of this right here. This tire coming up over this rock. Yeah, nice. I like it. They do really, really well. I don't want to say they do better than the high racks because I'm not saying that, but they do very well. Let me unlock this rear diff. or lock it back up so all right thanks everybody for watching um man these things do good i like them so see what the thing's curling over that rock i like it plenty of grip so there's your review maybe in the future i'll do a uh, video on comparing these with the high racks um let me know you want a comparison with high racks versus these let me know we'll do it but uh if not i'm probably not gonna worry about it
But if you want it, I will give you what the viewers want. I like crawling. I like the I like the slow, you know, you have to think about it. You can't just go up any different part. You gotta pick your line as they say in the industry. So I like crawling. It's good fun. All right, everybody, like, share, and subscribe, and uh, don't forget about the giveaway. Um, the giveaway is happening on Tuesday, so good luck, and uh, thanks for all your comments. I love all the comments. I like the interaction between everybody. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it. So, and uh, there's my little crawler course. It's, uh, it's getting a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, so... We're just, you know, it's something to mess around the way I don't have to go anywhere. I can just come out here and mess around out my my yard. And we got some more materials over there. Uh, my friend of mine is uh, doing it. But, uh, all right. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. It's Sunday today. You know, enjoy your Sunday. And, um, you know, have a good week. And, Get ready for your week because we're doing a giveaway. And you know what? Before the week's over, you could be excited because I could pull your name. So before the week's over, hold on. Let me clean that lens off. Before the week's over, you could be winning an RC car for free. So have a good week. It's going to be a good week. Stay positive And, uh, you know, if you have an RC... Share it with somebody. Show somebody your RC. Let's share it. RCs are fun. What the heck? I mean, it's, it's a nice de-stressor, relaxation. Unless you're breaking them and you're all stressing out, and that's not fun. So just let me do that. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, Ben.